In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find out the minimal inverse machine on a given a machine aim. In order to find out the minimum, minimal inverse machine, first of all, you need to check whether the given machine is information lossless or not by developing a testing table. If the lower part of the testing table doesn't contain any repeating state, then it is indeed an information lossless machine and obviously we can find out the minimal inverse machine for this given machine. Now if you do not know how to check whether a given machine is information lossless or not, you can check out my earlier videos in the channel dealing with that particular topic. So this given machine I have already checked is information lossless. So we can build the minimal inverse machine for this. Now in order to build the minimal, minimal inverse machine, first of all, what we need is to find out the triplets corresponding to the states of the minimal inverse machine from this given machine. Now a triplet contains three elements. The first one is the state information and the other two are the output from the two given inputs in the sequence for the state. Now for A, we see that there are two possible outputs. One is zero and another one is one. So A may produce zero and A may produce one in two cases. Now if A produces zero, it goes to C. So on second input, in C, what we see, what we observe here is that both the outputs are zero. So if you go to, if we go to C, we get always zero as the second output. So this is the first triplet with A. Now for the second triplet, if A produces one with the first input, then we go to D. So here we observe that for D, all the outputs are one. So the second output for A is always one. In this case so how we are building the triplet we are building the triplet with the two consecutive input information if and taking the corresponding outputs a can produce 0 and 1 if it so 0 is the is taken as the first output for the first input then it goes to C C here we observe that all the outputs are 0 so the third element is the Z is 0 now for a Again, we may get 1 as the output. In that case, we go to D. In D, all the outputs are 1, so the third element is 1. In this way, we can build the other triplets as well. For B, we observe that both 0 and 1 could occur for the first input. So if 0 occurs, we go to D. For D, all the outputs are 1, so 1 is here. Now for B1, B we get 1 for C as the destination state and if we go to C we observe that all the outputs are 0 so it is 0 here now for C there is always 0 as the output for the against the first input so there are there is always 0 as the first output with whatever the input that you give now if you go to A by producing 0 now here A in A we observe that the output could be 0 or 1. Now again if you go to B by producing 0, in B we observe that there are two possible outputs 0 and 1. So the second output for C is always 0 and 1. Now for D what we observe here is that the first output is always 1 against whatever the input that you give. But the second output if you go to C it is always 0. Now if you go to D, D produces always 1. So these are the 8 triplets that we get from this given machine aim. And these 8 triplets are going to form the straight states in the minimal inverse machine. So now let us form the minimal inverse machine with, the, with this triplet information, with these triplets. So the present state of the minimal inverse machine is going to be these triplets that we got from the given machine. So the first one is A, 0, 0. The second one is A, 1, 1. The third one is B, 0, 1. The fourth one is B, 1, 0. 
the fifth one is C00 it is C00 then C01 then D10 then the last one is D1 and 1 okay now we need to find out the transition state transition for input 0 and input 1 I am writing Z is equal to 0 because the input here will become output in the inverse machine and the output here will become input in the inverse machine so the next state should produce X always that is the output here X is the output here what was the input there in the given machine is now output here in the inverse machine now for the first case a 0 0 what is the state it goes with input z is equal to 0 now for a 0 a produces output 0 if it goes to c so these first two information gives us c as the state where it goes so the destination triplet of state could be formed in this way the first one first element of the destination is actually formed by these two information present state is a and the output 0 for a is only produced by c as we can observe it from this machine m so c comes here the second element of this triplet is the third one this 0 comes here and this 0 comes as the third element so the third element here comes as the second element of the destination state and the third and this 0 z is equal to 0 the input symbol comes here as the third element now what is the output of this state this transition a goes to c for input 0 since it is the 0 is the input so 0 becomes output here now a 0 again produces c as the state 0 is produced by A if it goes to C. Now this third element here comes here and this one comes here. One thing is clear that for all the elements all the state triplets here under Z is equal to 0 will have third element as 0 and all the state triplets here will have third element as 1 because this one comes for all the states here. Now output of this is again 0 because C is obtained by giving 0 as the input now a1 a1 output 1 from a we get it only for state transition to d now this third element comes here as the second element this 0 comes here and it is obtained for input 1 so we get output 1 here again d because a1 produces a1 is produced if we go to D again the same thing happens that third element comes here as the second element that one here comes here this one always comes here and this is obtained for input 1 so the output is 1 here B0 B0 is obtained for D in the same way we develop this D and this one comes here the 0 comes here this is obtained for X is equal to 0 so output is 0 here again D then this third element comes here as the second element and the above one comes here and this is obtained again for zero so zero comes here b1 b1 output one from b is only obtained if we go to c so c comes here then this third element it comes here as the second element then the zero above comes here now this is actually obtained for input one so the output is one here now again for z is equal to one b one is produced if we go to C then this third element comes here as 0 now this one comes here as 1 so C01 is the state triplet and the output is obviously it, it is for 1 so output is 1 now C00 now there are two possibilities if we consider this particular case C00 now 0 is produced from C in either of two cases it could go to a and produce 0 it could go to B and produce 0 so there are two possibilities one is a another is B so a if we consider a then the second element is 0 because this second third element is 0 here and we have this 0 here so one possible triplet state is this one and another one is this one B 0 this comes here and 
zero of the above comes here so there are two possible triplet as destination state but we observe that b00 is not there as a valid state triplet on the left hand side of this minimal inverse machine now we do not have any triplet with b00 so this b00 is not is not possible so it is invalid one so we are just deleting this so we'll be considering only a00 so a00 is the destination for this case and a, if c goes to a with producing zero by producing zero it is for input zero so the output is zero here again c00 c00 for z is equal to one we'll have two cases one is a another one is b now if we consider this a the second element is the third one here so second element is zero and that one comes from the above it is one now we see that and for z b it is uh, 0 comes here and 1 comes here. So A01 and B01, these two are the possible state triplets, but we see that A01 is not a valid state, so it should not be A01, but B01 is a valid triplet here. We have B01 on the left hand side, so B01 could be taken, but so we are taking B01 only in this case, so B01, and B is produced by C if the input is 1, so we are having output as 1. Now for C0 again, we are having two cases. If C produces 0, it may go to A or it may go to B. Now if it goes to A, the second element is 1. And if it goes to B, the second element is again 1. Now 0 comes here, 0 comes here. Now we see that B10 is the valid state. A10 is not a valid state. There is no state with A10. So we are just eliminating A10 and we are just taking b10 for this case so we are taking b10 now from c we go to b if the input is 1 so the output is 1 here again for c0 a1 a is there b is there now there are two cases a this one comes here this one comes here and again the above one comes here the one above here comes here as the third element. A11 is a valid state, but B11 is not a valid state triplet. So we are just eliminating B11 and we are taking A11 in this case. So A is produced, A, A, C goes to A if, and zero is produced only if the input is zero. So the in, output is zero here. Now D10 for D1, D1 is produced from D, either of two cases, C or D, in the same way as earlier. So C, if it goes to C, 0 comes here, 0 comes here, 0 comes here, 0 comes here. Now we see that, we observe that C00 is a valid state, but D00 is not a valid state because there is no first output as 0 from D. So it's all 1. So we should eliminate the D00 case. It is not possible. So only we are going to take the C00. So we are taking C00 here. Now C is produced from D. C, C D goes to C if 1 is given as input. Sorry, if 0 is given as input. So 0 is the output here. Similarly, D1 here we consider this D. Then 1 comes, then this 0 comes here. Then the 1 comes from the above. Now this cannot be the case because D cannot produce one zero as output with the first input so we are just deleting this case we'll be taking the other option that is the c so d goes to d produces one if it goes to c d produces one if it goes to c and zero comes here and one comes here so this is a valid state c01 this is a valid state C01. So this C is produced, this one, this C uh, state transition C takes place if the input is zero. So the output is zero here. Now the last one D1, D1 is produced if it goes to D or it go, may go to C. Now one is produced if it goes to C or D. If it goes to C, then it should be C10. Now C10 is not a case here. So for the first output c cannot have one so we are eliminating this option and we are taking the first one only so d1 
0 and D is the state transition if the input is 1 so the output is 1 here similarly for this case what we are getting C 1 1 for input 1 so the other option C 1 1 is eliminated because we do not have any uh, uh, case as any straight triplet as C11. Uh, we cannot get 1 as output from C in the first input occurrence. So we are eliminating that option. So this is the uh, minimal inverse machine that we get from the given machine in this way. Now we can find out that there are many states which are identical as we can see it from here A00 produce goes to c00 producing 0 and goes to c01 producing 0 it is identical with this d10 both are identical because the state transition for both these cases are just same you can observe this a00 and this d10 it is c00 it is c00 it is 0 here it is 0 here it is c01 it is c01 it is 0 here it is 0 so between this a00 and d10 we can just eliminate one and retain the other one so we are just eliminating d10 now if we eliminate d10 now if we eliminate this row then all the occurrences of d10 on the right hand side of this table of this uh, inverse machine has to be converted to a00 because between these two identical states we are only retaining A00 so we are eliminating this D10 and we are converting all the occurrences of D10 with A00 if there is any one D10 it should be converted with A00 if anything is there D10 is here as well D10 is here as well, as well. It should be converted to A00. D10, D10, D1. No more occurrences. Now we need to find out is there anything which is having the same identical state transitions and outputs. A11 produces A00 and 1, D11 and 1. We can find that again we have these identical states A11 and this. D11 these two are identical so among these two we can eliminate one so D11 produce, produces A00 this A11 also produces A00 output 1 output 1 here it is D11 output 1 here it is also D11 output 1 so we are eliminating this D11 now all the occurrences of D11 on the right hand side has to be converted to A11 so we are just eliminating all D11 has to be converted to A11. This D11 has to be converted to A11. No more D11 are left. So here we are. This is the minimal inverse machine with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 states and this is the these are the transitions and the output for this minimal inverse machine. Now we can you can further rewrite the minimal inverse machine by considering these state triplets with some symbol S1, S2, S3, something like that. But uh, that you can do with your convenient uh, symbols like this. We can further rewrite the machine in this way by considering some symbols for these triplets. Uh, we are considering S1 for A00 and simultaneously and S2 for A11 and so on. So we are rewriting the machine S1 goes to C00. C00 is actually S5. So it is S5 here and it is producing 0. C01, C01 is S6. So it is S6 and it is producing 0. So in this way you can further develop the machine. Uh, you can rewrite the machine with these symbols S1 through S6. So machine with these symbols S1 through S6, this is the minimal inverse machine that we get. Thank you very much.